How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're in mid-January and we have a sunny day today so been out here working on the truck and trying to get it situated and upgraded for the upcoming season and uh, went by Lowe's and grabbed some thin sheets of plywood um, because I think that we need some extra protection on the inside of the truck and I went ahead and installed this one piece right here with uh, self-tapping screws so it can go into this outer skin or the inner skin I should say there's still the outer skin on the outside of the truck and this will protect it from um, things hitting it and, and making a um, dent or whatever on the outside of the truck so if you have you know brush or a piece of equipment or whatever you could also screw things in here to put like a rack for gas tanks or a backpack blower 
you know, or whatever, you can make your own little setup here to hold different things. But um, I wanted to show you this piece because I already went ahead and installed it to see how it's gonna go. And it's really easy to install. I mean, no big deal, just a little bit of measuring. I had to cut around this little thing here because it, it pokes out. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll probably put another sheet here and then one on the door on this side right here because I'm not gonna put one here because I need this little indention for like the the um, the weed eater and like the engines they kind of go inside here a little bit so if I had a flat piece of plywood it would push the the trimmers and stuff out too far so I kind of like that plus I don't plan on putting anything against this wall so I'm not too concerned about denting the outside of the truck here so like a perfect example would be once I put a sheet of plywood here I can move this strap I can get like an eyelid or um, you know a bolt or something and I can mount this strap here because this is what holds the walk behind down and um, I could just drill it wherever I need it you know since I have that whole sheet of plywood there I can put the, the, the bolt wherever I need to to make my strap work so this truck it already comes with like d-rings here and there's probably um, I think there's three or four on each side um, that's good to tie things down and that's like kind of like mounted to the frame so it's pretty sturdy I had a piece of copper wire so I just quickly put it on here and that'll keep your gas can from tipping over um, I did notice that since I put this one sheet in uh, it, it made the inside of the van a lot more quiet because with it just being uh, the, sh the sheet metal on the outside it kind of echoes whenever you go over speed bumps or hit like a pothole and with this it almost gives it like a layer of insulation in a way so it kind of made it more quiet so like i said it's the middle of january now and it's a pretty slow time in georgia for the landscape industry so that's why i take on little projects like upgrading my truck and uh, just planning ahead for the the season that's coming uh, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I uh, took out a bunch of clippings and stuff from uh, some shrubs I was pruning earlier. Uh, we do crepe myrtles right now. We do like your ornamental grasses. I prune lower pedlums, um, you know, knockout roses, things like that, like kind of your perennial stuff that's dormant right now. We'll prune that. And that was to kind of show you that, you know, when the mowers are off the truck, if I just have pruning for the day, I'll just throw all the clippings in here if there's not a place to dump it behind the um, property, you know, the homeowner's property. And I'll just dump them all in here and then take a tarp and just rake it all out and then blow it out. And then I'm back to, you know, putting my mowers in and, and mowing grass. Um, soon we're going to start pre-emergent treatments for all the chemical customers. And I picked up a new Lesco 80-pound um, spreader. And this one has the side deflector. It has the cover on it to keep your fertilizer or any type of product that you put in here. It'll keep it dry um, from like humidity and, and moisture. But um, I had an older one and I sold it and then upgraded to this new one. And they're pretty much all the same, but this one is a little bit nicer than the old one. But um, I'm curious to uh, get this one going and see how it does. So thanks for tuning in. I know it's a little slow right now and there's not a whole lot going on, but soon, you know, we'll be into the real mowing season and we'll be putting out a lot more videos on real mowing and turf care and chemicals and all of that good stuff. So just hang tight and uh, continually to watch and um, we'll get there. So have a good day. Thanks.